Hello, welcome to another Wallace Collection intro. Today we're talking about a Wallace Classic, one of our favorite shoe brands in the shop. This is Claymont. So if you've been following the shop for a while, you probably know Claymont. We've had them for three, four, four seasons? Like quite a while now. Yeah, and they're just super popular. Everyone loves them, we love them. And I'm gonna give you a little run through our first delivery. So Clayman started just after World War II, I believe. And so it was founded by a guy called René Clayon, and he was a shoemaker and bootmaker, but he was enlisted in the French army for World War II, and he ended up uh, getting captured by the Germans. And so he was a prisoner of war for all of World War II. And then he got out of World War II, got out of the uh, camp when uh, World War II ended, and he started his own factory with like three people and like a couple machines. It was like a super small operation. So he just worked out of his hometown in somewhere in West France near Nantes. Super tiny operation, uh, kind of made a name for himself. And then in 1988, the uh, company rebranded as Claymont, which is kind of, a, I guess, like an abbreviation of Clayon Manufacture. Our delivery is pretty much just multiple colors of the Pedroar, which is their iconic shoe model. So it's what's called, uh, the model is called, the type of shoe is called a Tyrolean shoe. So in the same way that a shoe might be like an Oxford or a Derby, this is a Tyrolean shoe. So a Tyrolean shoe comes from uh, the region of Tyrol, which is on the border of Italy and Austria in the Alps. And so they were originally made as a mountain shoe. So the main, uh, I guess, traits of a Tyrolean shoe are that it has a mock stitch toe, it has two eyelets, and it has a lug sole. And so the lug sole was important because these shoes were made for people who lived in the mountains. This was meant to be a really durable shoe that you could walk around in the mountains in, not slip, uh, and just last for a really long time. Uh, so Clément has this signature scalloped detail around the toe. That's a deciding factor on whether it's Clément. If you're looking at someone from a distance, they have uh, three decorative stitches at the back, and they have this surprisingly very comfortable, like thick rubber sole. So it's just a classic lug sole. Uh, I have a pair of Clément's, and this sole is surprisingly comfortable. It feels pretty sturdy. You, it's pretty uh, slick proof as well. So you're not gonna be doing much slipping around if it's like wet outside. And we have a few different colorways here. So this is the Padro Oak. So this is, uh, I believe it's the, the Oak line is a, uh, I guess more of like an environmentally friendly um, type of leather that they use. So it's got uh, various certifications and there's no heavy metals in the, in the tanning process. So this has a slightly different leather from the regular uh, black pedroar, which you can't really see the difference here. In person, there's a slight difference. Uh, it has the gum sole. Same sole, different color. We've got brown. Nice and chocolatey. And then this is the Padrini. So it's sort of an elevated pedroar. It's got a cow hair vamp. So you can see that. Gives it kind of a cool texture. This one's in beige, a super nice soft color. Uh, perfect for spring. Uh, tonal gum sole. And that's it. So this is a, a pretty small run, but this is basically almost like a Wallace signature shoe at this point. This shoe is so popular. Oh, another good uh, bit of history for Claymont is that when they, uh, the actual brand Claymont was founded in 1988, they became really popular because they got contracts with big public French administrations. So the National Railway in France uh, made a contract with Claymont to make their work shoes. Also, I think Air France, the French Army, uh, various fire departments. So they became pretty common among, I guess, like the sort of blue collar workers of France. And this is a very classic French workwear shoe. Um, other than that, I don't think I have much else to tell you. Oh, another thing actually I will say, the insole is actually really comfortable. It's pretty minimal, but it is, it's fairly thin, but in my pair that I have, like I've broken them in, 
and they've molded to my foot super well. So they give actually very good arch support and nice cushioning. And uh, yep, that's it. Bye. <laughs>